Good day everyone, I'm King Joshua Oligario Milagrosa and this is the chapter 10 of our report which is the managing production and service operations. As for the introduction, it says here that organizations are designed mainly to produce products or services. If this organization must survive and grow, the operation function must be undertaken in the most economical manner possible. As most companies are expected to make profits, an activity, including those for operations, must be managed to contribute to the accomplishment of such objectives. So, for us to be able to know more about this chapter, we will be going to discuss first what, what is operation, second what is operation management, third is operation and the engineer manager, then types of transformation proce process which is the manufacturing and service, then last is the important parts of productive systems. First, ano nga ba ang operation? Operation is any process that accepts inputs and uses resources to change those inputs in useful ways. So, these inputs include land, labor, entrepreneurship, and capital. So, sa mga company or firms, napahalaga ng operation kasi it is one of their needs to function. And also, kailangan din nila to para makapag-provide or para makapag-produce ng services and products na kailangan natin sa araw-araw. So, in terms of service and products naman, sinasabi na lahat ng operation is service provider na kung saan may kakayahan silang makapag-produce ng uh, products by means of serving uh, customers. Next is the production process which is from inputs to transformation process and to outputs. So, sa inputs, it includes land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurships. So, kapag meron ka ng inputs, uh, makakapag-proceed ka na sa transformation process which includes equipment, procedures, and technology. So, dito sa transformation process, um, with the help of human resources na kung saan sila yung mag-ooperate and magkocontrol ng equipment and technology as well as performing procedures, uh, makakapag-produce na tayo ng tinatawag na outputs or yung products and services. Since transformation process converts the inputs into final goods and services, example of this are electrical products, engineering consultancy services, mechanical devices, industrial chemicals, construction services, and the electronic products na kung saan kailangan natin sa araw-araw or nagagamit natin sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Next is, what is operation management? Operation management is the process of planning, organizing, and controlling operations to reach objectives efficiently and effectively. When we say efficiency, it's related to the cost of doing something. For example, when a person performs a job at lesser cost than when another person performs the same job at greater cost, he is said to be more efficient than the other person because he do his job at a lesser cost. However, when we say effectiveness, it refers to goal accomplishment. For example, when one is able to reach his objectives, say, produce 10,000 units in one month and within a month, nakapag-produce na ng 10,000 units. So, sinasabi na siya ay effective. Operation management must be performed in coordination with the other functions like those for marketing and finance. Dito, uh, although yung ibang mga operation division ng mga firms is magkakaiba yung specific activities, 
um, iisa pa rin yung nagiging basic function nila which is to produce products or services. So, ano nga ba yung importansya ng operation management? So, first is um, reduce reduce cost. Uh, reduce cost of producing products and service by being efficient. So, next is increase revenue. So, syempre, kapag um, na-meet mo yung customer satisfaction and nag-increase ito, so, mag increase din yung revenue ng isang firms or ng isang company. Then, next is reduce needs for investment. Then, enhance innovation. So, another importance pa ng operation management is that uh, isa sa sa key function para makapag-produce ng um, products and services na kailangan natin sa araw-araw. Organization Chart of Construction Firm So, mula sa President, may tatlong pre uh, Vice President, which is the Vice President for Operations, Vice President for Finance and Administration, and the Vice President for Marketing. So, under Vice President for Operation is the Manager General Construction, Manager Construction Equipment, and the Manager Steel Construction. So, sa Vice President naman for Finance and Administration is yung Accounting, Cashier, and Human Resources. Sa Vice President for Marketing naman is yung Sales and Arbit advertising operations and the engineer manager engineer as, as operation manager must find ways to contribute to the production of quality goods or services and the reduction of costs in his department engineer, man, engineer manager is expected to produce some output at whatever management level he is so kunyari kung Yung engineer manager is na assigned as the manufacturer as the manufacturing engineer. Um, his function is to determine and define the equipment, tools, and process required to convert the design of the design product into reality in an efficient manner. So sinasabi din dito na yung typical operation manager is one with several years of experience. Types of transformation process. The engineer manager must have some knowledge of the various types of transformation process. They are as follows. First is the manufacturing processes. Then second is the service processes. So manufacturing processes. So dito nakasama yung job shop, batch flow, worker paced line flow, machine paced line flow, batch or the continuous flow hybrid and the continuous flow. So, however, dito naman sa service processes, uh, dito nakasama yung mass service, professional service, service factory, and service shop. So, para mas maliwanagan tayo kung ano ba tong service processes and manufacturing processes. So, yung next reporter, yung mag- uh, di-discuss sa atin or magpapaliwanag sa atin kung ano-ano nga ba ang mga ito. So, that, long, that concludes of my report. Thank you for listening.